Hi there! Don't you hate it when you have so many passwords that you can't keep track of them anymore? Here is a simple solution for all of you and we're going to show you how to do it. So, Mike and me will show you how to download, install and configure an instance of KeyPass of your Windows 8.1 machine. First, go to the website keypass.info slash download.html which you'll be able to find easily by using Google as well. In this example, we will use the Professional Edition with its currently latest version of 2.29. In case you're on the move very often, you may want to check out the portable version, which you will be able to keep on your USB stick or similar devices. Simply click the big green button of your choice, which will lead you to a new website, where you will have to wait for 5 seconds before a window will pop up and allow you to download the file. Once the download is finished, start the installer and just proceed with the standard installation. No adware will be installed. Now we start the program and we create our first key database. Go to the upper left corner, click new, choose the name and the location to save the file. Remember where you have saved the file and create regular backups of it in order to prevent losing all your passwords. You have three authorization options to choose from. You can either choose multiple ones or just one. The options are master password, a key file and a Windows user account. You can store a key file on an external device for example, although you will not be able to access your database without the file. We will now proceed with the master password option. We recommend to use the password of at least 68 bits to ensure the safety of your data. Use the mixture of upper and lower case letters, numbers and special characters. We will not bother you with the options such as encryption algorithm or standard usernames. Just click OK. The standard settings such as a 256-bit AES encryption algorithm are already sufficient. After creating the database, you will be presented with two standard passwords. You can either ignore, change or delete them. We will ignore them. On your left side you can see a list of folders called General, Windows, Network and so on, which help you navigating through your passwords. This time we choose email and click the little key on the top right corner. Give it a name such as Gmail Private and enter your username and mail password. You will see its strength being evaluated. Click OK. You can now either find it by going into the folder email every time you forget your password or use the search bar on top and enter Gmail in order to find it. In order to view your password and clear text, you can just click the three dots on the right. Another option is to just right click on the password entry, choose copy password and your password will be stored in the clipboard for a predefinable period of time, which in its standard settings is set to 12 seconds. That was it for now. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new today. Next time we'll show you how to set up the autotype function of KeyPass to automatically fill out the username and passwords in your browser. As shown you would not need to look up and copy paste your passwords in order to access your accounts and instead use a shortcut to perform an auto entry in the login formula. Stay tuned, keep your password safe. That was Paul and Mike for now.